वेलकम टू अमीन अकेडमी डॉट कॉम इन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटीरियल लेटस डिस्कस अबाउट सिंपल स्ट्रेसेस एंड स्ट्रेन फर्स्ट विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्ट्रेस द फोर्स ऑफ रेसिस्टेंस पर यूनिट एरिया ऑफर्ड बाई अ बॉडी अगेंस्ट डिफॉर्मेशन इज नॉन एज स्ट्रेस नो the external force acting on your body is called a load or a force suppose we are applying a load this uh, external load is called a force the load is applied on your body while the stress is induced in the material of the body a loaded member remains in equilibrium when the resistance offered by the member against the deformation and the applied load are equal so mathematically stress that is we can express this as sigma equal p by a means load by area here p is a load in uh, that is external load and a is a cross sectional area now we will discuss about unit of stress in mk system in mk system the unit of stress is kg force per meter square in si units unit of stress is newton per meter square here also it can be expressed in terms of newton per centimeter square newton per millimeter square here from this expression you can see 1 newton per meter square is equal so we have to convert this 1 newton per meter square can be converted into centimeter square that is uh, into the power of 4 centimeter square that is equal 10 to the power of minus 4 newton per centimeter square similarly 1 newton per meter square can be expressed as 10 to the power of minus 6 newton per mm square now here this unit is important but conversion you have to understand how to convert newton meter square from uh, Newton centimeter, Newton per centimeter square, Newton per mm square, like that. Here, big units. That is, uh, suppose one kilo Newton, one kilo Newton per meter square is equal thousand Newton per meter square. One mega, mega Newton per meter square. is equal that is uh, million million that is newton per meter square like 1 giga newton per meter square equal 10 to the power of 9 newton per meter square 
like that terra is there milli micro nano like units also available now let us uh, discuss about strain when your body is subjected to some external force there is some change of dimension of the body the ratio of change of dimension of the body to the original dimension is known as strain here strain may be subclassified as a tensile strain and compressive strain volumetric strain and shear strain now strain may be may be classified as tensile compressive volumetric volumetric strain and shear strain if there is some increase in length of your body due to external force then the ratio of increase of length to the original length of the body is known as tensile strain therefore suppose we'll talk about tensile strain equal to change in length by original length suppose if it is a compressive strain uh, because of compression the length is reduced so change in length means uh, here also change in length that means uh, is reduction in length by original length like we express we can express volumetric strain and shear strain now here stress have no unit since stress is expressed in same units means length over length there is no unit in that now here suppose let p equal pull that is pull force pulling force acting on the body a is cross section and area cross sectional area of that material of the body then length L equal original length and DL change in length increase in length due to action of load then uh, sigma is stress and E is uh, strain now from this we can say stress is change in length delta L by original length now already we expressed the stress now strain is delta L by L means uh, change in length by original length. We have done. Please subscribe our YouTube channel.